Hey, Sean, for somebody who doesn't have migraines, how, how do you tell the difference between a migraine and concussion symptoms? Because they sound kind of similar. Yeah, they're very similar. Um, for me, I, it's, it's just a feeling that you get. I've been getting them since uh, I've been young, so I kind of understand that when, when I'm one getting ready to trigger, that it's time to go. You know, take your meds and try to get past those symptoms as fast as you can. And can you usually get it to go away fast enough? To, I mean. I don't know what the time was, but it couldn't have been more than an hour between the time yeah. you left and came back. Yeah, if you have all your proper medicine, for me at least, uh, you know, typically the, the shortest amount of time is about 45 minutes to an hour. So do you take something, like, regularly or only when they come on? There's not, yeah, there's not much you can do for them other than uh, trying to put something in your system after you get this. I only five, only get one, like, maybe twice a year, the way you was talking about was it scary to hear you are in, in an NFL game, the Ravens defense, a loud crowd, and this is happening? Yeah, it's very unfortunate. You know, that's one of my biggest fears, uh, being a guy who does with chronic migraines. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it was bound to happen sometime for me, and um, you know, rather earlier in the season where I can learn from them and create a better plan.